Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on ordering a mixture of positive and negative numbers. And we've got these five numbers here, four, we say this is negative two or minus two, zero, minus seven, five, and we need to put them in ascending order. That means in order from smallest to largest. Now used to seeing numbers on a number line. So you can see you've got zero, the number that comes after zero is one on the right, and then to the right of that two, etc. We may not have come across negative numbers before. Now negative numbers allow us to represent numbers below zero, and that happens in real life in a variety of contexts. For example, temperature. If you have zero Celsius, the temperature, that's when water starts to freeze. But you could have temperatures colder than that. If you go to the Antarctic, the temperatures are likely to be below zero centigrade. And this is how it works in the number line. If you go up one from zero, you get to one. But if you go down one from zero, you get to minus one. And we say that as minus one, or we could also say that as negative one. And you can see there's a kind of symmetry here. From zero, if we go right one, we get to positive one. If we go left one, we get to negative one. And similarly, if going up from one gets you to two, then going down from minus one gets you to minus two. Again, we've got this symmetry here. And then we can go down further. It then goes to minus three, minus four, minus five, etc. And we can go on forever in this direction. We can get to minus a billion if we wanted to. So now we need to order these numbers. So let's indicate each of these numbers on the number line. Four is just here. Zero is here. We've got five up here. We've got negative two or minus two here. And we've got minus seven down here. Now if we put them in ascending order, that's in order from smallest to largest. That's the smallest here going to the largest here. So, minus 7 is the smallest, then minus 2, then 0, then 4, and then 5. And that's the numbers in ascending order. And I should be careful about describing minus 7 as a small negative number, because actually you could describe, say, minus 100 as a large negative number, because it's a number that's far away from 0. So really I should say that minus 7 is the least of these numbers rather than the smallest of them. That would be slightly more mathematically correct.